Hello everybody, my name is Gary and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So if you're new to the world of flight simulators uh, and you don't know where to start, you're unsure of how to fly planes, you don't know any of the technical aspects of a certain, certain aircraft, then this game is pretty good. It will show you how to fly different planes. So on the main menu, you do have flight training for the Cessna 152. But when you actually go into the game, it will help you get your plane started. So in FSX, when you started um, a game, your engine would be running. So you wouldn't have to do anything. You wouldn't have to start your plane at all. However, in this, if you start on a parking spot like I have, your aircraft will be completely shut off. You will need to start it all up. If you start on the actual runway, then it will be running and you can just take off. But it's pretty simple. It is pretty simple to, to get your aircraft up and running um, because there is a checklist that will help you. So. The way to get to the checklist is you go up to the, the bar at the top and you've got this tick option and it's the checklist. So this will give you the information you need to be able to start your plane. And this checklist is available for every single plane that's in the game. So you just go through it. You click on before start an engine and it will give you the information what you need to do to start this, this plane. There's ways of doing this. You can auto complete the page, which means that the AI will do everything for you, so you don't need to do it. Or you can basically click on the item, and then if you click on the little eye icon, it will show you the actual location of the item that you need to deal with. So it's telling us that the parking brake needs to be set, and it will give you a bit more information down down here, telling you that parking brake must be engaged so at the moment because it says release parking brake the parking brake is currently set so we don't need to touch that because it is already set so then you click on, so you then click on the next one and it says power levers idle and it says power lever must be fully pulled so I know where the power levers are but if you press on the eye it will again highlight the area and show you the item you need to interact with and basically all you need to do is go through this checklist and it will get you in the air as quickly as possible and I'll show you if the AI does it so we'll, we'll basically reset the camera we'll zoom out a bit so you can see the stuff going on in the, in the cockpit and if we just do auto complete page Engaging he's literally just done it he has literally just done everything and it's got that part of the checklist done so once we've done that we then go on to the next one is which is start an engine so again it gives you another checklist to go through again if you don't want to do it yourself you can do auto complete page and then basically you just wait for the, the co-pilot which is the AI to do it what I've noticed it m does take a little bit longer getting the AI to do it but if you're just wanting to fly then this is probably the easiest way because I always suggest starting off on a parking spot rather than on the runway a lot of people don't like people spawning on runways because if they're coming into land or if they're taking off it's quite uh, annoying just seeing a aircraft just spawn there in front of them so it's always best to to spawn on a parking spot it doesn't take you too long to get all this up and going as you can see the AI is doing it all for me and like I say it does take a little bit longer for the AI to do it but like I said, look, it's pretty simple. It's all being done. He's completed that section of the, the checklist. And then you go on to, after starting engine, it then gives you the rest of the uh, checklist. So then you get, oh, I complete that page. And once that's done, you are now ready, as you can see, we're ready to get moving. And it's that simple. You can literally do that with every single plane in the game every single plane will have a checklist and then that's what you do give it a go hopefully you will learn something and hopefully it will make the game 
a lot easier for you. But thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.